Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update uh, on what's been going on on the channel and uh, what the future is going to be for Hackersploit. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because, firstly, we've actually finished working on the platforms uh, that we uh, that I was actually telling you about uh, for the last two months. So, if you take a look at my videos uh, from December all the way uh, till now, which is uh, we're uh, on the 13th of March. Uh, we've been working on a lot of platforms and trying to improve the channel in many, many ways. And a lot of you guys were asking, well, could you share a bit of what is going on exactly? And I decided I'll do that when we are ready to go. All right. So I posted on Twitter two days ago that I was going to make this video. And uh, yeah, a lot of you seem to want to know what's going on. So here goes. So the first thing I want to say is thank you for all the support you've given this channel. Uh, it has been an absolutely unbelievable journey. Over the last three years, uh, ever since I started off in 2015, uh, the the growth of the channel uh, in the beginning was very slow. But right from the beginning, I had a loyal, we had a loyal base of subscribers that kept on watching our videos and telling us ways in which we could improve because I truly started this channel without any idea of where this was going to lead. And as a result, you can see the gradual improvement of the video quality and the uh, the quality of the information being passed along in the videos. So I want to take a few seconds to say thank you very much for all your support. This channel is not about me and uh, and making this channel sort of an individual achievement. This has nothing to do with me. That's precisely why I named the channel Hackersploit. It has nothing to do with Alexis and uh, this channel. If, I, if that was the case, I would have named it Alexis and then it would be a, a very, very singular way of looking at InfoSec uh, through the eyes of Alexis only. So uh, again, Thank you for all the support. This is truly your victory because I have very little to, to do with the uh, with a YouTube channel that has 200,000 subscribers. Uh, and it's all a, an achievement that you guys have had ever since the beginning. For those of you who have been with me uh, when I had 500 subscribers, 100 subscribers, 1,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000. Uh, so I do really, really appreciate this. And I will be doing a few giveaways and not the traditional types of giveaways. I'll be giving away uh, certain books and uh, various uh, software licenses, for example, Burp Suite. I have that all that planned. Uh, but the purpose of this video is to sort of update you as to what's been going on. All right. So with that out of the way, we can finally get started. Now, if you have been taking a look at the channel over the last two months, you can see that we changed our logo, uh, we changed our YouTube banner and uh, likewise for the social networks. And we also redesigned uh, the HSploit website. And a lot of people ask me why I haven't been using the Hackersploit domain and I'll get to that shortly. So HSploit, uh, the aim of HSploit is to sort of be a companion to the YouTube channel where you can find articles on the videos on the latest videos that we've done. And the goal of HSploit was to sort of give people uh, or individuals who like consuming content in, in a written format uh, uh, another alternative to experience the content that, that we create. So uh, this is going to be primarily focused on essentially providing you with uh, the uh, a documented version of a video and even more information will be added to that particular article. Uh, or that particular guide. So this is where you'll find all tutorials, guides, how to's uh, and uh, responses to any technical questions that you guys might have. So this is sort of an organized way of looking at the channel. Uh, and I, I will be sorting out uh, sorting it out even more. As you can see, I've been sorting out all of the categories in regards to all the videos I've made. So you have information gathering, exploitation, Python, etc. You get the idea. So that is essentially the goal of this particular uh, of this particular website and that is at hsploit.com all right uh, now we have been working on a few other platforms but before you can probably already see them through the tabs uh, we created our own forum now a lot of you guys will be wondering well why exactly did you create a dedicated forum well i'll explain why uh, and why i opt to have a dedicated forum rather than using a service like discord this is something that I've mentioned previously uh, in 2017 and last year that I really don't like having a Discord because it really does not sort anything out. You're sort of just typing what you want and that is historically available. You can index that, but it's sorted in a way that is not conducive uh, to someone or for someone to actually go back and say, all right, that question was answered. What was someone's response? And I started the Discord 
as a way for people to sort of collaborate. So uh, the entire hack exploit community to collaborate and to learn from each other. And that certainly has taken place, but uh, there is a sort of an isolation with uh, a, li a live chat feature where a few people will get into a conversation and a few bystanders will join in later, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't understand the entire premise of what's going on and therefore they feel left out and, and you, you get the idea. It really isn't conducive to learning uh, what someone might. So for example, if someone had a question and they've asked me and pro perhaps I've not read their email yet and they want the answer immediately, what would they do? Well, they'll go to the Discord and ask someone and if uh, no one knows there, then you, you you get the idea. It's it's sort of a, a redundancy issue there uh, with the same issue that I'm facing where I get a lot of questions, 90% of which I have answered before, or these are very, very common questions. And I would like to have a place where I can answer them and where students can go and ask all the questions that they have, uh, anything that they desire. All right. And they'll most likely find the answers there. All right. Now, if they don't, if they don't find the answers on that particular source or that particular website, uh, then they can finally ask me. All right. And this is not in any way to say to separate me from the channel. Not at all. A lot of you guys send me emails and I do receive them, but I get almost 100 every week and I respond to them as quickly uh, as possible. And as I said, some of them are redundant questions. I've answered them before and it really isn't efficient me answering them over and over again. So I'll be making videos on the questions that are commonly asked and I'll also be having these threads on the forum. All right. So uh, that's why I've created a forum now. Most of you will be saying, well, what about the Discord? Well, the Discord will keep on running. I'll leave that running for the individuals who already are on there and use it uh, for, their own, uh, for their own purpose and for the purpose of teaching others. I do have to give a shout out to Mr. GFY for helping so many of the students on the, the Hackersploit Discord learn uh, new stuff, sort of guiding them into the right direction, talking about Android hacking and just being an awesome dude on the Discord. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you from Alexis and thank you from Hackersploit for all your support. And hopefully you can also join in uh, on the forum and also have your own threads and teach whatever you want to teach. That is totally up to you. But I thank you for all your support. And uh, yeah, hit me up sometime and we'll be sure to discuss it a bit more. All right. And I would also like to thank everyone on the Discord who has been helping all the beginners get a foothold because as, as I've mentioned, I cannot be on the Discord uh, uh, throughout the entire day. And when I do get on Discord, I usually have direct messages that I do answer. And then when I finally check the thread, again, I'm confused because I don't know what where a question started, who started it, what the context is. And that's why I decided to create a forum at Hackersploit where we'll have all the questions and all the threads that the students and the professionals can create. And sort of you can ask all the questions that you have in regards to any topic that you want uh, in, re in, in that is within the scope of ethical hacking penetration testing linux etc so for example uh, you can register on this website right over here now after you've registered on the website you will get an activation email and one thing to note is the activation email might be marked as spam so do check your spam folder or your junk folder and you will see the activation link you can activate your your uh, your account from there uh, and that totally 100% uh, works. It's just that it might send it to your uh, spam. So do check that. So for example, if I check the categories and let's say I have a question in regards to Kali Linux, I can go to Kali Linux right over here and I can create a topic. So I can hit uh, create and it'll prompt me to create a topic. So I'll say, how uh, do I fix uh, broken repos? This is a This is a common question that many people ask. So uh, I can also write a guide on this, but if you have a question, you can essentially type your question in here and create a topic and then various users on the forum can go and answer your question. Now, of course, that's one way of looking at it. I can also post a direct uh, post right over here and say, I can also say the same thing. So I can say how to fix broken repos in Kali Linux. And then finally down right over here, I can type in the way of doing that. And now anyone who comes to the forum can search for that particular problem and will find that post. And if you can see that they can narrow it down into a particular category and they'll get the answer right over there. So this is really focused on the community aspect uh, of uh, of the channel. And for all of you guys who are who like asking a lot of questions, for those of you who want to share your knowledge, this is a great place of doing so. 
I've also created a custom category where you can post your scripts and where you can also develop your own scripts in collaboration with each other. So you can definitely check this out. I'll be adding as many as I can whenever I'm free. And of course, you guys can also can also do that as well. So you have various categories here. And of course, you can also uh, tell me what the categories you want added by clicking on the site feedback right over here and just give me feedback on things you guys want me to know. Now, the other thing is I'm going to be looking for uh, moderators for this forum. So if you are interested, uh, do let me know. You can contact me uh, via Twitter uh, or my email. I'm not really a fan of Facebook because many people are trying to send us uh, phishing, uh, various phishing links. You you get the idea. Many people are trying to scam us on Facebook. Of course, we know what they're doing, but uh, it's really become a haven for that. So apologies for all of you asking me questions on Facebook. If I, if I haven't answered them, it's because the uh, the questions we're getting are really uh, people just trying to scam us. So apologies for that. All right, so you can definitely check out the forum. That is at hackersploit.org. The link will be in the description. It's free to register. Again, make sure to check your spam folder or your junk folder for the activation link. All right, and finally, we have the Hackersploit Academy, which is uh, the our latest uh, our latest release and what we've been working on for a while. You can be probably wondering what the academy is going to be about. Uh, this is primarily going to be uh, where we have our various uh, where we have various training parts that sort of um, that sort of spread off. So uh, let me explain that further. So if you begin in ethical hacking or penetration testing and you want to start specializing in a field, this is primarily where you would go. And uh, the distinction between us and anyone else is the uh, the training is industry standard, and of course this is going to be taught by industry experts. So you're going to be you're going to be taught by people or individuals who are experts in the particular industry that they have published a course in. So we'll be uh, letting out more about that. Uh, for those of you worried about the pricing, don't worry about that as well. Uh, it will it's not it's not what you think, uh, but do uh, do stay tuned for that. We'll be updating you uh, more on that, and that is uh, available to, uh, at hackersploit.io. We haven't released any of our courses yet. And uh, many of you might be asking, well, why exactly did you create Academy uh, if you're having it on YouTube? Again, the whole idea is to give uh, individuals a specialized learning track if that's what they want. So we'll be creating mini courses on privacy, security, anonymity, encryption, and map the various tools. So if you want to specify or specialize in a particular track, this is where you would go. Now, that will not affect the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel will still get a full whole plethora of uh, of videos and uh, the, the distinction will just be a more specialized track, uh, although we're still working on the platform right now. All right. Uh, we then have the Hackersploit podcast, which uh, you've seen in and, uh, in and out of the channel. And the reason is we were trying to find a good way of doing it and one that would uh, give us uh, would give the listener the uh, the most uh, the, the most amount of, uh, of, of, an, of an advantage and the benefit. So the way we did that is, uh, if you just take a look at our the, the first episode of the new Hackersploit podcast that was with uh, Bart Brown, where we essentially di discussed uh, the Pursuance project. Uh, it's a very, very cool episode. You can check that out. Uh, the other episodes that we have planned out, especially this week, uh, the, uh, are going to be really exciting. So the goal of the Hackersploit podcast is to interview InfoSec and cybersecurity professionals. So again, industry, stand, industry experts or experts in the field and sort of get their perspective uh, on various things like learning uh, how to get started uh, with a career in cybersecurity, hacking, penetration testing, all that good stuff. So that's what the, hack the podcast is going to be focused on. Uh, we'll also have this in the description section. It's available on iTunes as well. Uh, and we will also be posting the episodes onto the channel as well. If you want to follow us on SoundCloud, the link will be in the description. We'll also post uh, the podcast link um, uh, in the description uh, for iTunes for those of you interested in uh, listening to these episodes as they come out. All right. Uh, and that's pretty much all that we've wo been working on. Uh, that is going to be uh, much of a change. We've been working on uh, things uh, on, on the back end, sort of working on increasing the quality of the videos and giving you much more information in every every video. As you've probably seen with the channel, we've been covering a whole lot of topics that we thought need to be explained extremely well. So the videos are now going to be on a uh, on a daily a, on a daily schedule, and I vowed to stick to that, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, so, for those of you who know me, I've been asking me whether I do YouTube full time, and the answer to that is yes. Uh, I have just started doing it full time, 
and that's why I'm focusing everything on this now. So uh, for, for those of you asking, there you go. So we're going to be having daily videos and I know that hasn't been uh, following suit over the last few months and I've explained why. There's just been a lot of things I've been working on in regards to work and a few other projects. So I do apologize for that. But we're really we're ready to push on with this year's goals. And I hope I hope you guys are excited as I am. And uh, once more, thank you very much for the support. Uh, for those of you asking me uh, if you can actually support the channel, you can do that on our Patreon. Of course, this is not encouraged, uh, nor is it going to be branded on the channel anywhere. But if you do choose to do this, uh, you can support us on uh, patreon.com forward slash hackersploit and you can support us there and support our work there. All right, that being said, uh, thank you once more. Thank you for watching this video if you have stayed this far. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff are planned. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys tell me in the comment section. Uh, all the constructive criticism, it is what has brought us here today. Constantly improving the videos and making sure that our content is one of the best on YouTube. So thank you very, very much. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.